Hi there. So, I haven't made any videos in a while. Um, been busy, life, all this stuff, thinking too much about videos. And then, honestly, really um, just getting lost and working <laughs> and forgetting to hit record and whatnot. And so, so here we got this the, the Spitfire, and you can see the engine's half apart. I, um, and let's turn this thing around. So what's the button? There we go. So it was giving me a vibration problem. Um, pulled the head, found there was um, when the valve seats wasn't good. Do it, you need to be reground. Rebuilt the head, put it together. Vibration issue still. Redid the motor mounts, all sorts of stuff, and still vibration. So it was like, screw it, let's pull the engine because seals were leaking from sitting for a long time. Anyhow, rebuilt the engine. Was really wanting to get the car back on the road. Fast road cam, headers, port and polish, all the fun stuff. I think I did a video with port and polish um, back when I was working on just the head. But what I need to show you today is what I'm working on. So here's the uh, the block. And I've been blowing through gaskets lately with this freshly rebuilt engine. And what's happening consistently is this hole here and this hole here or where the head gaskets are failing. And these are the pay-in brand, which are supposed to be the good ones, but I hear they're outsourced to another place now. Quality isn't so great, so forth. Um, and so this hole here, I don't know if we, if we can see better in this one. Perhaps not. Yeah, there we go. It's just blank at the bottom. There's, there's nothing. It does nothing. I'm told that these were uh, for uh, alignment, tooling stuff, or where the engines were built. So... Um, not necessary. So there's a couple of different ways that we can deal with this, and one of them is taking a bronze valve guide from the same engine, which should be the same outer diameter as this, fitting it in there and leveling it flat. Um, but I want to imagine that's going to take a lot of um, filing to get it down just right, and I'll show you what I've been doing for leveling the block and leveling the head later. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to fill it with JB Weld. Um, and then file it down, make sure everything's smooth, um, because, and just basically blank it off because I, it's, it's not needed and it's was blowing these head gaskets. And if you look closely here, it's like into that, that recess, the fire ring there. So, um, no bueno. So that's what we're going to do today. And hopefully, I'm, you know, if you're having this problem, you'll see how to fix it because I've gone through four head gaskets got pay-in brand ones, and I got Felpro, and Felpro just sends you pay-in, but the third one seemed to be doing all right, and then I blew a radiator hose, which blew the head gasket, and I was like, okay, who knows, maybe there's something to the Felpro one, and it was just the hose, and then I put in the fourth one, and it lasted like 10 miles in blue, so um, I'm getting a Lucas head gasket, which seems to be better. I'll talk more about that when I get to it, but in the meantime, what I'm going to be doing is mix up some JB Weld, put that in there, let it cure, and I'll show you how I'm going to get a back flat and level again so that's that all right so just actually just a few minutes later um and show you what i did so here's just you know it's like some plastic jb weld i always like using like a nail because i can just throw them away and they're long and they're pointy stirred it up and here we go it's not perfect but what i wanted it to do was just be just a little bit proud of the block so that when I level it, I can get it perfectly smooth and it's going to support the gasket from underneath because the gasket's just flat across there. And I don't know if it's changing temperature and air pressure and whatnot makes the, maybe the gasket flutter like a diaphragm. And then it's consistently blowing right through here. Um, actually, I'm going to I'll grab some of the old gaskets and show you. And then over here as well, too. Yeah, I can't remember if I just said or not, but wanted it just a little bit proud of the block so that uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it... I don't know, half a day, let it harden up some, and then come across with a razor blade and just kind of see if I can cut the edge off before it's like super hard. Um, and then, you know, there's it's not perfect, perfect in there, so I'm going to get in there and, and fine tune that a little bit as well, too. Um, just make it look really, really nice and try to get it like, you know, doing its job. And, uh, yeah, and then I'll come in with my leveling block. I'll show you that then. That's basically a machined flat block that I got from somebody with 150 grit sandpaper and just. Psh, 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 psh. Um, I'll share with you the process. I do that. Let me come over here. I'll show you a couple of these. Was this the latest one? I think it was. Yeah. Blown head gasket. See, that's no good. But you can see where that 
let's see. Right here is where it was sealed over that hole, and the hell, hole blew. You know, all sorts of not fun stuff. And you can see this one is getting was almost there, blowing as well too. Um, see, it kind of sticks down underneath. Let's take you over here real quick too. Two of the previous head gaskets, because I've already gone through four of these damn things. Um, there's another one. Blew the exact same way. This one here. You know, see that one was about to go. And then this one here. You see the holes through it. If it'll, there we go. See how it was failing. So these are these, uh, Paying head gaskets, and I um, I'll flip back to we'll talk to each other. So I, I had um, and everyone's like, oh yeah, those are the best ones, and they're great. And it, from my understanding, is the old ones, yeah, absolutely, those were great. A car came with an old head gasket set from the '90s, and like I, you know, threw that on there. It's good, no problems. Torqued it up, probably should have retorqued it, but really no problems at all. And then now with these, I've done like everything I possibly can. So like leveling the block, torquing it, retorquing it, all the thing, go back and forth, back and forth, um, new head bolts and all the things, and it still can't hold one of these head gaskets. Um, and so let's see, it's Saturday. I think the new one's supposed to come in Tuesday. So I'll show you the picture of the Lucas one and why it looks like it's supposed to be better. And also it talks about holding higher compression better. Um, I think part of why this problem is showing up now it's twofold. One, these gaskets not so good. Um, apparently, they're I think they're outsourced to like Indonesia or something nowadays. And um, two, I got a lot more performance happening in this engine, so um, little things are showing up a lot more. But other than that, the thing runs great. But um, yeah, I'll bring you back later for when I'm doing stuff with the, the JB Weld and leveling that, and I'll make a very video series. Oh, I can show you too. Um, I started working on. Uh, where am I? Can't look this way. Air vents, like Le Mans style air vents. Um, I got a video I started making like two, three months ago. Um, I got over here, there's all this, the, you know, I've made most of the stuff, just got to finish the brackets, but number one is getting the engine running, and um, yeah, it's not. And so this has been like an ongoing issue for like two or three months, is like, Keep going back to the drawing board and fine-tune, fine-tune, fix things, and hopefully this is going to be the final fix. All the stuff I've seen from the different forums, people are talking about, oh yeah, that's that, that's that's what to do. Um, here is one of the old valve guides. It's not one of the bronze ones, but you can see I think the diameter is the same, and so by putting that in there, you get a little bit better support of the head gasket. But that only gives you this ring, which is part of why I wanted to do the JB Weld, because that gives you the whole surface area. Um, and should be a little bit easier to file down smooth without taking it to a machine shop. So that's that. All right, so here we are the day after the yesterday. Um, and so let me show you what I got. Here is where I put that JB Weld. I came in last night um, before it had totally hardened and came in with a razor blade and leveled it, and I'm pretty happy with that. It's looking good on both of them. This one feels like it maybe slightly below the surface, but I don't think that's the end of the world. Um, shove some shop rags in there to kind of keep any kind of debris from falling into the um, engine. Uh, so let me show you kind of what I got. Um, so first what I'm going to do, big old fat Sharpie. So let me show you a couple different things. And what we can do here is take Sharpie, go color in all the things um you don't necessarily have to do this but this is my indicator as to whether things are level or not and i'm not really worried about going all over the whole head um it's kind of really more or less showing you this my big thing is making sure these are good um and because i've already did this you know i i, I uh I went to town what was it 10 miles back which was the last head gasket change Ugh. So, I have here also, this is a machined flat block I got from a machine shop, so that surface there is 100% dead flat, and so I got some 150 grit sandpaper, and so now, I'm set this here, just kind of 
do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you can notice that the Sharpie's already disappearing. Let's see how level this thing already is. Any kind of gunk marks from the head gasket blow and already gone. And just big thing with this is try not to, oh see there's one spot I needed to get just a little bit to get a little more level is don't stay in one spot but keep moving around so that you don't have any keep that down in there yeah, this is hard to do with one hand because um yeah I gotta go get a tripod for my phone but whatever um yeah, and everything's looking really really good so I'm going to do, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this, make sure everything is good and I'm happy with it. There's no reason for you to watch me do this. Um, come over here where the head's at. And I did upside down, flipped it over. I did the bottom of this really well last time, so it's super level. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of that. And I'm not sure, I might end the video here because... Um, Really, that's the big thing I needed to show you, is plug in those holes in the block, and then how I'm leveling it, and so hopefully, given all of this, everything should be really good. And so, I guess that's the point of doing this video, was to show you guys this, and so, um, the rest of it from here on out is just a head gasket change, just slapping everything back together. So, I hope this helps you, if you're having the same problem I was having, hopefully, you know, these head gaskets get better. Um, oh, I might show, I'll probably show the Lucas one when I get it. Any, what, a, it's a Lucas one. It's, it's, you can read about it. Um, British parts, Northwest, I think is where I got this one from. Um, didn't see too many of the, the regular places uh, offering it, but there's, there's these little beads around it and other stuff. It, it's got more bells and whistles to keep it from, to help it seal better and says it's better for high compression engines. Um, this is a 76, so higher compression engine, uh, relatively. I think it's like 9.1 to 1. The others were like 7.6 to 1 or something something like that. But um, anyhow, that's that. All right, later.